What's going on guys, it's AK Inspiration bringing you guys back another helpful settings video. Wow, my freaking controller uh, console one blew up. If you guys are interested in knowing what those settings are for the game, make sure you watch all the way through and then click the video at the very end and it will show you that setup for all the console players. Or if you don't have a PC at all and you just have a console, then you can just go ahead and uh, click the video at the very end of this video. Um, this is only for PC players who are trying to figure out what the best settings is for this game, especially if they have like a low end PC. Um, me personally, I'm using a laptop to run this game and it's uh, on a spectrum. I say from between one and 10, I give it like a four in terms of being able to perform this. Obviously, I wish it was on higher uh, settings. As you guys can see, my graphics is set to auto settings, which means it puts it on low because it can barely hold anything higher than low right but it does run smoothly i'm pushing 80 to 120 fps with these low settings and i can still see the game very clearly and it's pretty well i will show you guys some clips of that as well um, with my settings okay so in order for you guys to really understand what laptop i'm running i have to break it down for everybody so they can get a gist with the pc they have whether it's a desktop or a laptop okay so i'm running Microsoft Windows 11. Uh, I got NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 with six gigabyte laptop. Um, I'm running the newest game driver that just came out with the first ascendant. And I have a 13th gen Core i9, right? And the RAM is like 60, uh, 16 gigabytes. So that's what I'm running right now. And I have a lot of storage, so it's able to keep up with the memory of this game right for especially for my video graphics card now i'm going to go ahead and break down these settings for you guys so you guys can understand exactly what to do and get yourself the best quality performance with a low end pc like mine for example okay now we're going with auto settings i highly recommend letting nvidia and the game decide what settings is best for your laptop i wouldn't try to customize any of it personally especially if you've been crashing lately or the performance has been bad and you've been dropping frames a lot. Let the uh, auto settings take care of that for you. Race tracing, I have off. You can turn it on. It might, may or may not make you crash, but it's a possibility that it will make you crash. So I just keep it off. Because like I said, guys, I wanna give you guys the best settings as far as smooth and not crashing. And you guys can be able to play 20 hours plus uh, without crashing at all. And your laptop or PC desktop overheating, right? So I'm running AMD options, okay? You can run NVIDIA, but I'm running AMD. Apparently AMD for some odd reason is working better, even though I have an NVIDIA laptop. Uh, AMD is just working a lot better. And then I have the FSR to quality, okay? Quality, put that on quality. You can change it to performance, but I mean, if you want good quality, especially with low graphics, I highly just recommend putting it on quality, right? All right, it's V-Sync is off. Um, I did put the reflex low latency to enable boost. So go ahead and put that on as well. It shouldn't really affect your gameplay too much, um, but it definitely does reduce that system latency. Frame generation is on and make sure it's to unlimited. Let your laptop or like I said, um, PC decide the frame rate. Just let it go up and down. It is what it is. It's just based on the game. The game is really powerful, especially for the low end PCs. Like I said, uh, the auto settings is on low, so most of this should stay on low. The only thing that could change, you can probably put this up to uh, ultra or keep it on high. Uh, preferably one of those two will work. It shouldn't affect your PC too much, okay? Motion blur, always have this off, especially in any FPS game you play, any looter shooter or anything that requires you to move really fast. Take motion blur off because you don't want anything blurry. You want a clean, smooth screen, especially when you're moving fast on PC. Now, gameplay really doesn't really matter too much. I mean, just have everything except it on. Uh, you have show creator icon on, you know. This is all up to you, really. This is optional. I'm not gonna really break down this too much. You know, weapon damage details, keep those on. Uh, show HP, shield, increase, decrease, keep that off. Mm, aim, control, hold. I would say hold, especially for, you know, PC, whatever. Uh, grappling hook correction, I'll keep that on. Uh, these are just my settings. So you guys can adjust this as uh, according you want because it's based on the gameplay. Audio, same thing. This is also based on what you prefer. Um, I have these on 
Um, I usually have music volume off so I don't get copyright strike as a content creator. Uh, so like I said, all this is depending on you right here. Okay, so I'm gonna move forward. Now the display is the big thing. I just got a monitor like two days ago. So before I had the monitor and I was only playing on a laptop, I'm going to go ahead and break that down for you guys as well. So if you don't have like a monitor or a second screen and you're only playing on a laptop or one monitor, for example, um, I think the monitor will be fine, especially if you're on a desktop. So you wouldn't really worry about this situation. But if, for example, for those who only have a laptop, this is what I highly recommend. Put it on window mode. OK, you put it on window mode. I'm just going to do it for you guys real quick and then have it to set to 1920 or 1080 16 by nine. Now. For anybody else um, who, you know, doesn't have as strong as a laptop as mine, you might just have to adjust accordingly and just go down to 1280, um, 800, just whatever is keeping the FPS above 60. OK, you I don't want to play this game above 60 FPS, right? So the screen um, collaboration, I say HDR. This was I never touched this, but for those who are interested, I turn my HDR display off. HDR does require more performance and more boost. So you kind of want to turn that off to like, like I said, keep yourself from crashing and keep a smooth gameplay for like 20 hours straight, right? Uh, screen brightness, I leave it at six and I leave uh, screen contrast at six as well, right? Then field of view. I used to have this all the way up, but apparently more objects and more graphics that the uh, uh, laptop has to render, it messes up the performance. So I kind of put it back down to um, whatever this is. I'm pretty sure it's 100. Yeah, it's I had 100. So that's where we're at with a field of view. Uh, colorblind, that's up to you. If you're colorblind, you, got, you can deal with that. Sharpness, I have all the way up. Uh, personally, I think it's just better for my laptop to have sharpness all the way up. Try it out and let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like sharpness all the way up. Uh, city camera, I really didn't touch. It's still on. Um, now, keyboard and mouse. Like I said, guys, I've been playing for three weeks and I became a pro at PC. I don't know what happened. I tried that little aim lab thing for a little bit, but um, over time, I just got bored and I was like, you know what? Let me go to Warframe. Let me try out Warframe. I played Warframe for about three weeks before this game released. And then no, before about two weeks and then before this game released and I played this game for a week straight. I'm at 100 hours now. So like the PC is normal to me now. OK, but I'm going to ahead and break down what my settings were. Um, I definitely increased my sensitivity a little bit as I was playing. So now it's at 12 and eight. So you might want to start lower if you're new to PC and trying to understand how to work with mouse and keyboard, right? But I have a hardware cursor off. I have this off. I have this off as well. The axis is. Now, here are my controls. Now, this is what the defaults were when on Warframe, and then I adjusted accordingly to play Warframe. So I got used to the Warframe settings and I ended up just moving it over here to the first ascendant. So what I have is WSDA. That's usually the standard for all, you know, basic movements when it comes to PC. Now for my firing, this is the same and my aim is the same. I'm pretty sure this is all the same for FPS games. My sprint is still shift. That's also a default and your jump is always going to be a space bar most of the time. So that's also a default. Now for my roll, I have it on V. My reload is R. That's usually the same for all games. Um, and I have my grappling hook on C. Now this is different. I have my grappling hook on C and my rescue teammate on X, my abandon on the backspace. Um, and that's when I like, if you're going down and you like, people are not reviving you, you just want to die quick. That's what it is. So that's the backspace for me. Um, if you want to scan, that's Q. That's perfect because it's right next to your W. So it's an easy move, uh, push down, right? Interact is on X as well. Player interaction is on Y. I never really player interact, but it's there if I need to. Um, skills is one, two, three, and four. I put these there because like I said, when I was playing Warframe, that's just the numbers they gave me when I was doing their skills. So I was like, freak it. I just got used to doing that. And my fingers are pretty long enough to stretch without leaving the W A S D keys. Right? So my sub attack is E, which is basically your melee. And that's right next to my W as well It's on the other side, opposite side of the scan. So it's kind of easy press for me with the index finger. Now, F and G is also the same thing because it's right next to D. So it's easier for you to swap weapons. Um, you might mess up a 
few times playing with hitting F instead of G and then hitting G instead of F. It happens. I'm still getting used to it myself, like I said, three weeks in. So, um, ring menu, I don't really use too much unless I'm like about to mess with like a menu or like trying to emote with somebody, but I'm not really in combat. So I leave it on O, which is separated from like WASD. So I could just have fun with that. Now my descendant, same thing with if I'm in my menus or whatever inventory, I'll hit the L button. I want to switch descendants. That's what I'll do right there. Now open inventory is the same situation. It's the K. So I put all these on one side of my keyboard and then left all the combat stuff on my left side of my keyboard. Now I have a world map on N, my open map on M, my quest on J and my enter chat on enter. I think this is normal. This was never uh, changed. This was default. You just, if you want to chat, just hit enter. And then if you want to switch channels, just hit tab, right? So increase mouse sensitivity. Uh, this I haven't touched, but if you do want to increase your mouse sensitivity, uh, you can definitely do that from here. Voice input button. This is like the talk to speak. Uh, I don't really need that. Uh, my mic can mute itself, <laughs> so I don't really need this. But if you don't have a mic that can mute itself, then you probably want to put a talk to speak button on here. Uh, press the speak or whatever it's called to enable you to talk. You want to go ahead and put that button here. Now changing target, uh, tracking target. I don't really, well, I do use this if I'm like tracking stuff and I want to see what I'm tracking and how much I gained, then I will use the U button, right? Um, also this is the same as like favoriting your weapons and stuff like that, especially if you're trying to register stuff. Now that is pretty much it for the settings. Uh, just make sure you link your account and uh controllers like i said for all those controller plays i've already made a video on this so make sure you guys check out this video at the end of the screen if you're interested in controllers and consoles okay if you guys thought this was helpful make sure you leave that like button and subscribe i will leave a little clip of using all these settings together and see how much of a pro i got in, in three weeks i think i'm really moving fast me personally but like i said i've only been a three week player and somebody who's a super, super, you know, experienced PC player might think, oh, dude, you're still moving slow. Just let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to get your opinion on that. But make sure you guys hit that like button if this helped. Subscribe if you're new. And if you're playing the first Ascendant and hit 100 hours in the game like I did today, let me know in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. be all of them. Do you think they've retreated and this is the rear guard?
All quiet. All that's left is the gate barrier. Good. Let's try breaking through now.